Hey everyone, it's Sarah, and today I am back with another subscriber requested video. This is another old one. I had somebody ask me to do this a long, long time ago. Um, I, anytime I get requests though, I do write it down on a list and I just kind of go down the list and try to get to them when I can. This one just happens to be kind of late. Somebody asked me to talk about my favorite bottles in my collection, so this is probably gonna end up being a two-parter because I started pulling and there I still had so many more that I wanted to pull. If I would have done them all in one video, it would have just been too long. So I'm going to do this as part one and then I'll do a part, a follow up to it, a part two. So anyways, I've got a lot here. I'm going to jump right in. I'm going to start with a Guerlain bottle. I think Guerlain just makes really beautiful bottles for the most part. Um, I love like the Aqua Allegoria bottles. I love the bee bottles that they do. They're really, they're just gorgeous. I love this one though. This is the original Insolence bottle. I had the EDT bottle as well and I almost kept it just because I loved the bottle so much even though the EDT and the ED and the EDP smell so much alike that I did not need to keep both in my collection. I wanted to keep it just because of the bottle though. Um, but I've got two bottles of my insolence as well, which is also in this bottle. And I just love this bottle. I think it's really, really beautiful. It's very <laughs> like 2000s. Um, it's just gorgeous. And then with the dark purple liquid and the dark purple lid, I just think it's beautiful. It just looks like a really pretty little flower or something. I don't even know but I love it. It's one of my favorite bottles in my collection. And I am so happy that I've got three of them. So yeah, that is the first one. That is Guerlain Insolence. And then another Guerlain bottle that I absolutely love. I mean, to me, this is just an iconic bottle. Is the Shalimar bottle. I think it is stunning. My beautiful friend sent me a bottle of the, I think it's Shalimar Eau de Cologne, if I remember correctly. And it's in a little bit different bottle than this. It's in a more kind of old fashioned -y looking bottle, but I love it. I love the Batwing bottle that is the Shalimar EDT that I have, but I love just the original Shalimar bottle. I just think it is so classy. It's so stunning. It reminds me, something about it reminds me of like India. I don't know why, but I adore it. This, this one just happens to be Shalimar Cologne, which <laughs> the crazy thing about some of these, this, this perfume and Shalimar Parfum Initiale. They both have this like really beautiful, delicate pink liquid. This one used to be a really beautiful, delicate pink liquid and it has turned. It like the color of it has completely changed. It's getting, it's becoming bright yellow. I don't know if you guys can see that it's turning bright yellow. Parfum Initiale will also turn bright yellow. Um, and I don't know what is causing it because these are kept in a dark cabinet, so it's definitely not light changing them. They're kept temperature controlled, so it's not heat. It just must be what the liquid does. It just loses its pink color and turns bright yellow. It still smells incredible though. I love it. This is one of my favorite formulations of Shalimar. But anyways, yeah, I just love this bottle. I think it's beautiful. Next, we have this Rocha Tocad bottle. I love this bottle. Um, I love it because it's very, very 80s with the little pedestal and just the shape and then the fun um, top, like the fun colors on the top. It just reminds me of the 80s completely, especially the top. It looks like it came straight out of the 1980s. It's so, with just with the bright colors and the geometric shape, um, so fun. So yeah, I absolutely adore this one. And I love the color of the liquid in this one too. It just, the whole thing looks very 1980s to me. And it's just one of my favorites. So that is Tocad from Rocha. This next one, I love this bottle, but I love the bottle that has the flower collar much better than mine. This is Jean-Paul Gaultier Labelle. I love both of my Labelle bottles. The Labelle, the Parfum Intense one is stunning. That dark kind of wine, pinky wine color that's like ombre is so beautiful. I just love these bottles. I love Jean-Paul Gaultier bottles. I love the like idea of the, you know, female body bottles. I just think it's really cool. 
The bigger bottle of this, this is just a one ounce bottle. I think it's like the 1.7 ounce and bigger and especially the 3.4 ounce has this beautiful like flower collar going across the bottle and it's stunning and I love that one so much too. I almost, because I did blind buy this perfume, I went with the one ounce bottle because I didn't know if I was gonna love it or not. I almost bought the 3.4 ounce bottle just to have <laughs> The bottle with the flower collar on it but I was like don't be ridiculous don't buy don't blind buy something that you might not even like and all because of the bottle um, this one's cute though because it does have this little like flower stopper which I think is cute it's just like a little flower stopper and it is cute but it's not the same but the bottle itself is really pretty this is another one the liquid used to be this really beautiful kind of light dusty pink light to kind of medium dusty pink color and now it's just kind of like brown because it's got a ton of vanilla in it and the vanilla has darkened and deepened up which is totally fine with me it smells amazing now so anyways yeah I love I love Jean-Paul Gaultier bottles just in general I think they're really beautiful so that is LaBelle this next one this is one of my favorite bottles in my entire collection. It is so stunning. I do love the perfume, do not get me wrong, inside, but the bottle is what does it for me with this one. This is the Alexander McQueen McQueen Parfum, and this bottle was, I believe, a Harrods exclusive, so like Harrods London. I believe it was a Harrods exclusive when it was first released, and it was like $400. Um, and I loved it because that was back when feathers were like really, really trendy and I just thought it was so cool and I just love this. I love the gold feathers. I love the black bottle and the gold writing. I love the gold, um, like foot on it, everything about it, the textured cap. It's just a stunning bottle. It's so beautiful, just gorgeous, one of my favorites. And it's this beautiful kind of spiced tuberose fragrance. Ugh, it's just so gorgeous. So yeah, that is McQueen, McQueen Parfum. It's one of my favorite bottles in my collection. Okay, this next one, oh, I adore this bottle. This was sent over by a beautiful friend. Um, this is Kenzo Amore, and I adore this bottle. This is like my favorite color in the entire world. I love this like raspberry pink color. I guess it's more of like a magenta and I've been drawn to this color since I was a tiny kid with my crayon box. Magenta was always my favorite color and it still is. Um, so yeah, I just love this bottle, not only because of the color, but it's just such a cool bottle. I mean, it looks like a little piece of like modern art. It's awesome. And the scent inside is so good too. It's like this kind of slightly powdery, warm, slightly edible, kind of floral. I think it's got like a rice note in it. It's, oh, it's so good. I love this one. So yeah, that is Kenzo Amore. I think it came in, well, if you see pictures of this, you'll see this color. You'll see an orange bottle, like a pumpkin orange bottle and like a white bottle. And I think you were able to get it in all three colors if I remember correctly, but I love this one. This is my favorite color. So anyways, that is Kenzo Amore. Next we have got, this is Lode to Izzy Absolue from Izzy Miyake. And I love the Izzy Miyake bottles. I think that they're beautiful. I love this one because I love the kind of nectary color of the liquid and I love the gold. I do have the original one as well that has the silver lid and the kind of frosted bottle which is the EDT formulation. Then I believe the EDP formulation is a clear bottle with I think kind of clear liquid and a silver top, if I remember correctly. I love this one though. I love the warmth of this one. I love the gold. Again, the kind of really syrupy color of the liquid. I just think it's stunning. It's just a beautiful bottle. And then with the ball on top, it's just beautiful. Ugh, and it's like a sweet syrupy, decadent smelling version of Izumiyaki. It's so good. I love this perfume so, so much. So, so that is Izzy Miyake Low de Izzy Absolue. This next one, I want more of these egg perfume bottles in my collection, but they're incredibly expensive. So 
I don't know when I'll be able to get another one, but this is a fragrance from the House of Oud, and this is called Dates Delight. Gosh, I love this fragrance. This one is sweet, spicy. It reminds me of Christmas, honestly. It smells like Christmas in a bottle. It's like sweet, sweet, spicy, boozy, soaked dates. Oh, I love it so much, but this bottle is amazing. This is like its rest, and then you just put it down in there, and it's like a little egg. It's so cool. It's another bottle that just looks kind of like modern art. I just think it's beautiful. Each bottle is like handmade too, so no two bottles look the same. They're all gonna be kind of glazed differently and yeah, just have like different patterns on them. Um, but I love it. I just think it's such a fun bottle and I want more of these in my collection, but the House of Oud is an incredibly expensive niche house. They're like over $200 a bottle. I found this for like a ridiculously good deal. I wanna say I paid in the $80 range for this, I could not believe it, on one of the Canadian websites, maybe fragranceby.ca. Um, I got such an incredible deal on it, so I had to snatch it up. I blind bought it too, but I knew I was gonna love it. It's got honey in it too. It's like honey and spices and booze and dates. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Yeah, I got lucky with that one. So anyways, that is the House of Oud Dates Delight. Okay, next we have a Penhaligon's fragrance. I love, this is another one. I would love more bottles from this collection just to have more of these bottles because they're amazing. Um, I love this one that I have though because not only is it an amazing fragrance, but I love the peacock head on it. So this is Clandestine Clara and this is like a boozy, a kind of slightly spiced boozy amber. This one is quite masculine smelling, um, but in a good way. Ugh, it's not so ma- it's actually really, really unisex smelling. But me, it leans just a little bit masculine. It's amazing. It's like a, it's a warm, kind of boozy amber. It's really beautiful, and I just love these bottles. I think the actual glass bottle is really, really pretty. It's, this is another one the liquid used to be like a reddish color and now it's green. And these are all stored in a dark cabinet and it has always been temperature controlled. So they're not changing because they're not being stored properly. They're just changing, I guess, from the materials in them. But yeah, it's this really cool, like chartreuse green color now, which is one of my favorite colors ever. So I don't mind that it's changed, but yeah, such a cool bottle. I love the peacock head. I love peacocks. So yeah, this one is just, it's one of my favorite bottles ever. That is Penhaligon's from the Portraits collection and that is called Clandestine Clara. And then last but not least for part one, I have a bottle that is incredibly controversial. A lot of people hate this bottle. I love it. I think it is so stinking cute. This is the Ariana Grande Cloud perfume bottle. Um, I like this one way better than the Intense version. The Intense version is, I forget, it's like a dark blue bottle in a white cloud maybe. Yeah, I think it's a dark blue bottle in a white cloud. I don't like it as much. It's not as cute. There's something about this one in the sky blue bottle in the white cloud that makes it very like whimsical and just super fun. I love it. The perfume smells amazing. It smells like a, it smells like Baccarat Rouge 540, but add a bunch of like cotton candy to it and maybe a, t a hint of coconut. Um, I love it. It smells so good. I, my husband adores this perfume. So yeah, I really love this one though. And I really, really love the bottle. I like this one also because the cap fits really well. The perfume is really snug in the cloud. So I don't have a problem with this one. The intense one, my cap doesn't stay on and it's really, really loose in the cloud. So see with this one, I can pick up the bottle and the cloud doesn't fall off. The other one, the intense version, the cl like I can't, I can't pick up the the bottle and the cloud don't stay together. Um, when you pick up the bottle, the cloud's gonna stay, which is fine. I don't mind it, but I do like that this one just kind of stays intact and that the lid actually stays on 
because the other one's really frustrating. The lid just like falls off as soon as you touch it. So yeah, I love this one. This is gonna be super controversial because a lot of people really, really hate this bottle, think it's super juvenile and tacky. I totally understand. Does not hurt my feelings at all if you hate this bottle. I just happen to love it. I think it's super, super cute. So anyways, that is Ariana Grande Cloud. And that is gonna be it, guys. I will put out a part two very soon. Um, I, in fact, I can't wait to start pulling for part two for part two because I had so many more bottles that I absolutely love. I haven't even gotten to my Mugler collection yet. I love Mugler bottles. Um, but anyways, yeah, I do hope that you all enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.